girl member of this house. We think I'm going to talk about three things on the daily basis. Number one, is there a problem with the status quo? Number two, <laughs> whether actually the government is actually just to intervene in this type of behavior? Number three, what's actually the effect of our model itself? Let's go to the first part on the question of problem itself. Now, we think the government actually has set up and today's this debate very clearly, right? The problem of today's debate is not about the idea that there's not enough tolerance, not about the idea that this kind of organization does not cater to all consumers. What we said, Mr. Speaker, is that there is an, an, a fair and an, an unfair employment rate because there is a preference in the idea of blended policy, in the idea of only priests become headmaster, or the idea of maybe, maybe because we are Muslim, mostly in school, we are going to elect more Muslim teacher than the Christian school itself. See, which is why we believe that this is the kind of practice we should combat to this debate. There is absolutely no engagement from the side of the house. They are actually adding more and more problems the idea of tolerance and the idea of consumer behavior. Let me give this first, first on the idea of problem itself. There is say that rather just create a job field if the problem is only the idea of the job. Number one, if we can do that, we are going to do that. We are not mutually exclusive with our model. But number two, just because you create a job field, that does not mean you justify a discrimination from this kind of affiliation itself. Yes. We think it's unfair and inconsistent for you to say that because there is another institution who does not discriminate you, then the other kind of institution can discriminate you yes. itself. Yes. So we do not think their kind of example is actually valid itself. Now we got from Brown is that why actually we are actually banning this kind of thing if there is actually the idea of added value itself. Number one is speaker. If this kind of religion organization itself wanna have added value, that's okay. The added value that to discriminate people, we think that's okay. But do not use government do not use government money to it. Because yeah. we think, Mr. Speaker, government money is supposed to be an extension of hand of government itself. Where government is always be consistent in creating uh, in terms of equality equality of religion, Mr. Speaker. We see the idea of preference uh, within this religious organization, then preference the idea of equality of the government itself. Yeah. Speaker. We think it's okay for the government to use its money to engineer society, engineer uh, its uh, engineer itself, Mr. Speaker. But before that, there is you can only do that if these institutions are created to create non-discrimination policies. They are doing because the exclusivity of this organization that's why they exist. Yeah, in exactly. the Let's go to the second classes on today's debate on the idea of religious exclusivity, right? Number now, even in Dennis' uh, Dennis explanation, they talk about how actually religious exclusivity is actually important in practice. We can see that, but the problem is that this kind of organization operate in public sphere, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is why we say that religious should not be done safe within this idea of the organization itself, Mr. Speaker. Why would you actively exclude a school, a, a, a Christian teacher, just because you are in a Muslim school, Mr. Speaker? We think religious actually exclusively maybe work in the idea of church, but not work in the idea of religious affiliated organization itself. We do not think that is actually fair enough, Mr. Speaker. But secondly, their question on this idea of justification, they talk about the idea of there is actually enough tolerance. Not only does not actually engage the idea of proposition. Let's engage this with a dear friend. Number one, Mr. Speaker, we think, Mr. Speaker, the idea of tolerance is we're actually boosting idea of tolerance. Because essentially, what they're trying to do is perpetuating the idea of, because we are a religious, uh, religious organization, the different kind of religious people should not be equalized with us, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah, we do not yeah. think that's actually engineered the idea of tolerance itself. Under our proposal, we think there's interaction itself. The way we are decided the house responded, that there is enough justice. There is enough tolerance doesn't mean we should not bend this. Why is there just because there is enough tolerance? We cannot make more tolerance itself, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah. The idea of enough tolerance should not be counted in today's space yeah, itself. No, thank you. Because we think, and we have already told you in this debate, is that if you really want to discriminate the government, this kind of people, you should not use the government money when yeah. the government is actually being more consistent to create equalization at all. We get no response from the side of the house on this kind of point itself, Mr. Speaker. I'm going to engage with the last idea of this, on the idea of the effect itself, Mr. Speaker. Now this side of the house said we're actually actively discriminating this kind of, uh, we're actually actively discriminating this kind of religion, right? He said, number one, they are not discriminating this kind of religion. This religion is not discriminating the other people itself. Okay. Why do you think the government should help this kind of religion to discriminate more people itself, Mr. Speaker? Okay. He said, then there is a discrimination within this religion. It's okay for the government to, do, to not sponsor this kind of religion. We do not think this is actually actively discriminating this religion. But moreover, 
if this kind of religion do not want to become discriminated, then they need to be more moderate. They need to have more kind of religious, Sorry. other religious people to their kind of institution itself. Sorry. No, thank you. We talk about the idea of percentage itself. We do not think this will suddenly overwhelm the idea of religious institution because there is a, the idea of safety net within our model itself, Mr. Speaker. What do we talk to you in our class today, Mr. Speaker? We think it's particularly important, as what well Sandra told you, that it create a better service itself, Mr. Speaker. Because we can see that every religion might be to some extent is actually different. The idea of food, kosher food, the idea of the, uh, the idea of religious practice itself is actually different. The problem with that kind of analysis is that this kind of religious institution can then discriminate the patient itself. There is a, there is in the status quo there is no the religious discrimination, religious consumer discrimination, which is why there is no problem in the status quo. Yet Brown said there is actually an added value uh, within this kind of religion uh, institution itself, which is we pay it okay. We think this is actually an inconsistency, right? When actually they support that this kind of this kind of religion, uh, this kind of religion organization should discriminate the patient or should not discriminate the patient itself, Mr. Speaker. We think in particular, Mr. Speaker, we also talk to you about the idea of representation itself. There is no engagement from the side of the house, right? Because we say, Mr. Speaker, that government can actually save this kind of money of federal care to more a private sector, which is actually already unfair in the status quo. There is no engagement from that. But moreover, Mr. Speaker, when the government is actually shifting this kind of money toward the private fund, the private fund is actually the better actor. The reason why government do not shift toward the private actor is because the government wants this kind of religious organization to become the extent head of the government itself. Which is why we say, Mr. Speaker, the government is justified to actually intervene to the into this debate and to promote value of equality, Mr. Speaker, on today's debate itself, Mr. Speaker. At the end of this debate, Mr. Speaker, you need to remember two things, right? The firstly, on the idea of fair employment itself, Mr. Speaker, because right now we've seen an increasingly high fair, in, uh, fair unemployment preference in the status quo because almost like 99 percentage of this kind of religious institution itself discriminate the idea of identity discrimination itself. But moreover, we talk to you that in the idea of job, meritocracy is the best, not because your religion, not because your sex, not because your gender, but not, but only because your meritocracy, and that's why we propose. Thank <laughs> you.